Hey, what's up guys? Coach Tony here with Outrun Parkour. Today, I'm gonna be making sure everybody gets up and moving. I hope everybody's been doing well. This is a perfect opportunity for you to be doing exercises at home. So today, we're gonna be going over some vaulting and some inversions, so that includes somersaults and our shoulder rolls. So let's get started. All right, hopefully we are all nice and warmed up. So today we're gonna to be progressing towards our step vault. So we're gonna start with a super easy drill, our step vault flosses. We're gonna get down on the ground, just like we're gonna go into forward QM, and then you're gonna put one leg out a little bit to the side, opposite hand out a little bit further, and you're gonna take that back leg and floss it through, step, and switch. Also today I'm gonna to be using this precision pad, little wood block, so you can put it up on the one side to elevate your hand if you don't have the mobility with our step vault flosses or you need a little bit extra support so you can go back to our forward QM, hand on the block, foot out, and practice the step vault that way. Or if you're a fire breather and you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can do the opposite and elevate your foot a little bit more. More weight on your hand makes it a little bit more challenging just like that. Today I'm gonna be using a rail to practice my step vaults so, like so, rail, foot, step over. If you don't have a rail or one of these, you can find both of these online at Outrun Parkour. And if you have something like two by four in your garage, something like this, this works just fine too. All right, now that we have our step vault, we're gonna progress to a little bit more of a challenging scale, our monkey plant and Kong vault. So the first roll that we're gonna do is just like our ground Kong. We're gonna go down to the ground, wide hand, make sure that our feet and our knees are in between where our hands are gonna be. Hands, ground Kong. This time, when we go to our ground Kong and our feet come in between our hands, you're gonna fling your fingers back, just like this. All right, go ahead and bring out whatever you use for your set vaults. We are gonna be using our wooden trainer so we can progress towards our monkey plant and our Kong vault. We're gonna take that on the ground, just like we were doing for ground Kongs. Nice wide hands on each side of it, toes up on top. All right, now that we've gone over our vaults, we're gonna be transitioning to our somersaults. So you can go ahead and use a mattress or a thick blanket or even a bunch of pillows. I'm gonna be using this extra foam. With our somersaults though, I want us to use a shirt or a towel or some kind of clothing that you can just kind of throw down on the ground, fold it up a little bit. The goal of this somersault is making sure that we don't put our heads on the ground because that is the biggest thing for neck injuries. So we're gonna use the shirt, say, oh, my head is too close, and come back up. All right, parents, this is a really good time for you to get involved and uh, look out for a couple of these things. So make sure that the arms are not super straight all the way through their somersault. You wanna make sure that they're bent 
as they're going through their somersaults. All right, now that we've worked on our somersaults, we're gonna be moving on to our shoulder rolls. These are a little bit more challenging as you do go a little bit more over to the side, so there's a lot more to think about. So we're gonna break down step by step, starting with how we go into our shoulder roll. All right, now that we've gone over our shoulder rolls and our somersaults, I have a pretty fun activity that we can do at home. Parents, feel free to get involved if you would like. We are gonna practice going through all of the QMs that we know up and down the stairs. Now, keep in mind, there are some QMs that are safer than others, such as backwards crab walk should not be done up the stairs. Thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you had a really fun time going through all of these different movements that we go through in class. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below, anything else you wanna uh, work on, and stay tuned next week. Look out for another video that we're gonna be posting.